the latest addition to Roland's mass market digital piano line, the RP701 is a powerful yet easy to use digital piano for beginners. But how does it compare to Roland's popular HP702? And which piano should you buy? Well, stay tuned. In this video, we're going to unpack the important differences between these two pianos so you can determine which one is right for you. But before we get started, we'd like to remind you that your support means the world to us. If you find this video helpful, please like it and share it with your friends. If you think we missed some important information, or if you have additional questions, let us know in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to the Riverton YouTube channel so you can see more great videos like this one. You may have seen our video overview on the Roland HP 702. If not, press on the card or click the link in the description below to check that video out. But because the 702 and the RP701 look so much alike, folks often wrongly assume that they're the same. But here are some important differences that you should know before you choose one. First up is the piano sound. And if you ask us, this can be the most confusing comparison on the list. At a glance, it would seem that the two pianos use the same sound technology. Both say they use Roland's supernatural sound chip. But here's the big difference. The HP702 is using Roland's cutting-edge supernatural piano modeling chip. The 701 is using a more industry-standard sampling plus modeling technology. Why does that matter? Well, a fully modeled piano like the 702 has a freedom of control and expression that no sampled piano can offer. Because the piano sound is generated live in real time, you get a truly acoustic piano experience. No lost notes, no memory limitations, no stair stepping or sample jumping. And because the model is designed to behave like an acoustic piano, players can perform the same way they do on an acoustic piano. In other words, your technique matters. Even advanced pianists can enjoy voicing a phrase or building emotion into a piece with the control and response of a grand piano. There are no limits. The 701 still offers a beautiful tone, but because it relies on a set of acoustic piano recordings, it can't offer the same degree of expression and nuance. If your goal is to get as close to an acoustic piano as possible, you'll definitely want to upgrade to a fully modeled Roland. Fully modeled pianos are more customizable as well. In fact, the HP702 offers twice as many customization options as its sampled sibling. You can select your favorite soundboard type, adjust the size of your virtual grand piano, and even adjust the warmth or thickness of your piano sound. Then you can save your custom piano sound and make it the default sound for your Roland piano. Any variable you change changes the entire algorithm. You can literally create the piano you'll love to play. With the 701, you can make some minor adjustments, but you can't fundamentally change the pre-recorded samples. Another major difference between the two pianos is the registration feature. Designed to be more of a practice piano for beginners, the RP701 doesn't have registration memory. You have no way to save your favorite sounds for quick and easy recall, nor can you advance through those sounds with your pedal the way you can on a 702. Even if you don't plan to play in church or school, having your favorite sounds at your fingertips with just the touch of a couple buttons is a wonderful feature. Who wants to scroll through hundreds of sounds every time? This is another area where the 702 really shines. Though it's more subtle than the features we've already discussed, the HP 702 has a different cabinet than the RP 701. Yes, they look a lot alike. But if you look closely, you'll notice that the 701 doesn't have a full height modesty panel. This is an important consideration when you plan to show an audience, classroom, or congregation the back side of your piano. You'll also notice that the 701's front legs are connected with plastic, where the 702's front legs have a stronger metal frame. Certainly, the 702 is built to last in more challenging environments like schools and churches, but the 701 still looks very nice and would be fine for home use. The final big difference between the two pianos is their warranty. 
Like all the models in Roland's HP home piano line, the 702 has an incredible 10-year parts and labor warranty with in-home service. The RP701 has a 5-year parts and 2-year labor warranty with in-home service. Everyone knows Roland makes wonderful digital pianos, but where else can you find a 10-year guarantee on an electronic product? The remaining differences aren't as important if you ask us. Yes, the 702 uses Roland's standard button interface, making everything you want to do quick and easy, while the 701 uses fewer buttons and more scrolling, but that's not a huge deal. You'll get used to either one. The two pianos come with different benches as well. The 701 comes with a small adjustable bench, the 702 comes with a slightly larger padded bench with music storage. While the 702's bench is far more comfortable, the adjustable feature on the 701's bench is very nice when you have players of different sizes using the same piano. Oddly enough, the 701 has a larger screen, 128 by 64 pixels versus 128 by 32 on the 702. And it has clips to hold your music open, 702 doesn't have this feature. But the 702 has more built-in songs than the 701, 15 more to be exact. They're about the same size footprint, but the 702 is about 2 inches taller. Both pianos consume less power than a nightlight, but none of these features are game changers either way. The only other consideration is our Roland Donors Club. This lifetime membership offers you more music to play and enjoy, digital downloads, learning materials, and an entire video series called How Do You Work This Thing? Giving you training and support whenever and wherever you want to play. This exclusive club is only available to Riverton clients, and it's not available on the RP701. The Roland RP701 is a fantastic starter piano for home players, no question. It may not have the features of a Roland home piano model, but it's also priced lower to account for its limitations. That makes it an excellent starter option. But if you're looking for a better piano sound, more features, and a more attractive and durable cabinet, you'll want to consider the Roland HP702. Nobody ever regrets buying the better piano. What about you? Which piano appeals more to you? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to check out the latest pricing and specials on the Roland RP701 by clicking the card or link in the description below. Or contact us directly via our 24-7 web chat at rivertonpiano.com. We're happy to answer your questions and to help you find the piano of your dreams. Thanks for watching and may the love of music lead you to life's greatest joy. We'll see you next time. You know, making these videos is a lot of fun for us, but we never have enough time to show you everything we want to. And you never really get a chance to hear what the pianos sound like in real life. So stop into one of our stores and see for yourself what you missed. Or watch one of these great videos before you go.